Hello walkers and welcome back to Billings, Montana. Forgot to check all my stats here, but today I'm going to take you on a walk around downtown. Uh, we are starting at the corner of North 29th and 4th Avenue. You can see the first interstate billing, uh, bank building there, sorry, and also uh, Lincoln Center, which is a center for Billings Public Schools. We're also starting here at uh, the Dude Rancher Lodge, which is one of the more affordable hotels downtown. Uh, and we're going to do kind of a loop today before it gets too hot. It's supposed to be 100 degrees today, Fahrenheit, which I think is like 39 Celsius. I'm looking up our uh, current status. Uh, it says it's currently 25 degrees Celsius, which do the app calculation here. 77 degrees Fahrenheit. The stirrup coffee shop. Uh, well, Harley's there. Um, so I'm gonna do a loop. We've done. I've done some other tours for you guys downtown, but it's been cold, like 20 degrees Fahrenheit cold. Uh, much different today. It's starting to warm up. And of course, we're respecting distances here. We're also coming up on the Billings Public Library, which we haven't seen before, I don't think. We're kind of on the north side of downtown. And uh, we're heading north now towards the Rim Rocks. And I did a Rim Rock walk this morning. Uh, also in this direction is MSU Billings Campus and the Billings Clinic, uh, which is a big healthcare provider here in Montana. I think they're associated with the Mayo Clinic, but I'm gonna actually heading away from downtown at the moment. I know I said I'm gonna take you downtown. Um, give us a like, thumbs up, leave a comment. I do love those comments. Tell me about your experiences in Billings, what you wanna see, what you don't wanna see, anything that I got wrong which is almost a guaranteed. Um, anyway, Billings, a little bit about Billings. Oh, I wanted to take you up through here. There's a little bit of a residential area and uh, the leafy, not suburbs, but um, uh, just a residential area, I guess. We're coming up on, I think it's Sixth Avenue, okay. Um, Billings Clinic is, as I said, a major health care center for not just the Billings area, but the state. Uh, Trying not to get run over here. And we're just going to do kind of a, a loop here. Um, Billings for those of you that haven't watched our earlier videos. Um, There's about 110,000 people. The most hotel rooms within a five state area. I'm not exactly, exactly sure how they define that, um, but it's a major trade center, major railroad town. That's how it got its start, actually, in 1882, uh, the Northern Pacific had a couple uh, sections of land here and uh, the little next door town of Colson, which no longer exists, was actually trying to get them to set up a railroad depot there. But the railroad said, you know, we've got all this land, we can make a lot more profit over here. So two miles away, they started their own town, named it after Frederick Billings, who was, I think, the president of the Northern Pacific at the time. Uh, and then it's been sort of a transportation and commercial hub for the Northern Rockies, especially the Eastern Front for, um, you know, 140 years or so. It's also has the dubious distinction right now of being the hotspot for COVID-19 by far the most cases here uh, in the state. That said, uh, I think it's only about 1,500 to 2,000 total cases. I'm not sure 
like 500, 600 active cases maybe at the moment. Um, not great, but when you compare it to other areas, uh, it's not too bad. And that might explain why there are so many people this year uh, driving through, visiting, RVing, camping, and even moving here. Housing prices have gone through the roof and they were already high to begin with. It's one of the high, fastest growing metropolitan areas in the West, um, apparently, according to the Wikipedia article I did to study on this. Um, we are coming up on North 31st Street. We can go another block and cross over, I think. Um, anywho, it's a pretty cool town. Definitely out here on the plains. Um, if you go back and watch the other walk that I did in winter, you'll see that it's uh, pretty cold, pretty windy, uh, and not exactly close to the mountains, We're about an hour away or so, uh, which is uh, adequate and similar to, say, Denver, honestly, um, but with a lot fewer people so far. I'm also using a new vertical axis stabilizer. It's a cheap one that I got off the internet. I forget who makes it. Uh, it's, I had a Scotty Makes uh, 3D printed version, which was awesome, uh, except for some minor squeaking when the, from the spring eventually. Uh, this one, not, not quite as good. But hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully it's adding a little bit of benefit. Let me know what you think. I've also got a third party uh, super cheap mark mic plugged in um, to improve the audio. It was a little breezy earlier today. And there's a little bit of breeze now. Hopefully that's useful for the audio. We're gonna make a head south here on 32nd Street for those of you following along. There's the Transwestern Plaza where the First Interstate Bank is located. And there's a lot of the residential stuff and suburban shopping center, strip mall stuff is headed down that way, as well as a high school. Um, I'm gonna try not to get run over, but I'm gonna cross early. Uh, whereas the downtown and more industrial areas are back to the east. A lot of refineries, the State Fair and Metro Park, uh, as well as a uh, livestock auction center. It's been Montana, we got a lot of cows. This is a, oh, I thought it was a smoke shop, but it's a, it's a bookstore. Awesome. Love me some bookstores. Oh, and a bike shop too, the Ride Cyclery. Cross over to the shady side of the street. It's a dry heat here, but it's still hot. I am walking in the middle of the street, not the side of the street there to stay in the shade. about First Interstate Bank there. I think they're actually based out of South Dakota, but it's one of the big regional banks. They've been growing a lot the last couple decades. Here's the YMCA. 
across the way here. As we get down close, we're headed south right now, ish, southeast probably. Um, and uh, we're headed down towards the railroad tracks, which is a major transportation, as I said, a major part of why Billings is here. And on the other side of the tracks is where things can get a little rougher, although not too bad, honestly. Um, and then other areas as well, but we are going to make a left before we get down to the railroad tracks, and head back east towards downtown. Um, although I did walk through there on my winter walk, so if you have an interest in seeing that area, and I'm probably overselling it, um, but I did have a couple comments expressing a little astonishment that I was down there. Um, but I didn't feel unsafe at any time. But I'm a big guy, so. <clears throat> so we are headed east now on 4th Avenue again. It's really a pleasant day in the shade. Uh, it's one of the things about Montana, it can be 105 and if you're in the sun, man, it's tough. But if you can find some shade or some, and some moving air, it's not too bad. over here. There's no button to get the lock signal. I have to risk it. I think that the third party microphone on the uh, what do you call it? On the Osmo Pocket has just enough weight to um, to take away the tension on the spring, overpower the, and you can't adjust on this one. You can't adjust the tension like you can on the Scotty Make, so it, it's not giving me a whole lot of a lot of help here. All right, we're going to come up on. We're on North Thirty First here, and we're going to come up on Third. I think we'll go down one more block past this church that's coming up before heading down. That should take us pretty close to downtown, uh, the central business district, if you will. I mentioned in my last Rimrock video that I filmed that I've been looking into the metrics of this and of this channel, and one of the key keywords, I guess, that people are searching for are uh, virtual travel and virtual treadmill scenery. Uh, I think I'm going to go this way, actually. I'm not sure which church this is. I can't remember. Anyway, so I'm supposed to say that on here, as well as get you guys to comment. Um, but really, my main thing is just this is St. Patrick's Co-Cathedral. I don't know what that means. Um, but my main goal is just to make sure people are enjoying these and seeing places of interest, especially in the times of quarantine when a lot of us can't travel, can't get outside, or uh, even go to the gym in some places. You know, it's, I'd be a little leery, honestly. Um, or uh, can't physically uh, travel the way we'd like to. I've had a lot of comments about that um, and love getting those, letting people letting me know that 
they're uh, getting value from these and these are making a little brightness to their day. I think uh, we all made a little effort to brighten other people's day. The world would be an amazing place. All right, I think we got to be on what, 2nd Street. Cross over here. Huh, Wise Wonders Children Museum. I hadn't heard of that one before. I'm going to cut down one towards the Wells Fargo building. And you can see the Doubletree Hotel there. also Shanghai Village Chinese restaurants which uh, looks interesting design wise oh cool there's a, a little Mexican restaurant I think it's Mexican called La Tinga that started in Bozeman many years ago and it looks like they have opened a branch here in Billings and in fact I think I remember seeing that before we're gonna cut down on 30th take a look at it and also the art house cinema and pub is down here that looks like it could be a fun place uh, you know, maybe in better times. Wetzel's quality cleaner. They must be a dry cleaner, Wetzel's. Love that mid-century design. There's La Tinga. Anyway, they were famous for not taking credit cards. It's just a cash operation, the husband-wife team. And uh, used to be in downtown Bozeman, then moved out to a little bit to the outskirts, some of the suburb areas. And hopefully they're still there. I haven't been over to Bozeman much recently. Um, this is an area we covered in our winter walk, but it's a lot different right now. Honestly, not a lot more people, probably partially due to the pandemic but there's thirsty street tap room over there they brew a lot of sour beers and they are right next to angry hanks uh, which is a brewery as well <laughs> the guy, the owner of uh, Thirsty Street, he actually came here with the petroleum industry and uh, converted over to beer making. Typically that's a, not a step up in income, but I guess you got to do what you enjoy doing. Got to follow your passions. I love the fact that there are some of these uh, these older signs and mid-century modern buildings. The Monty over there, the sign, blue sign, looks pretty cool to me. We're gonna make a left here. mainly because I want to show you the Sassy Biscuit. And I cannot promote this place enough. So good. Uh, cool story behind it. Uh, husband wife team, he was in the Air Force out here. And she needed something to do. I think their kids were gone. So she started this, she's from South Carolina, so she started this Sassy Biscuit company and the food is amazing. How you doing? Filming? Yeah. 
uh, channel called City Walks. So I just walk around and people watch it on their treadmills. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah. Take care. I am surprised at how few questions I actually get walking around with these cameras. Um, they're not too obtrusive, but still, people are curious. I'm also a little surprised people don't get upset with me for filming, but uh, I guess people tend to shy away from conflict and uh, allow people to do their own thing. <clears throat> this is kind of a unique thing for Billings, this <clears throat> uh, awning they placed over an intersection. I believe they have um, markets here. Here's the Babcock Theater. I think uh, it's a music venue primarily. Some cool alleys down here. Um, love this design again. It's kind of retro looking ticket booth. We've got Rock Creek Coffee Roasters, one of the coffee shops, local coffee shops, I think. See the awnings, and I think they have um, farmers markets down here sometimes. Sculpture, the glass. So we're walking down North Broadway now. You can see the Montana Power Company building, kind of an older, seeing some of these older brick facades. And there's the, um, it's a brew pub here called the Montana Brewing Company, I think. run over as I film. Up there you can also see, oh well Stackers, or Stack at Montana Grill is kind of one of those uh, restaurants that are known around. And then the Big Dipper Ice Cream Company is uh, a local favorite. I think they were started in Missoula, but now they've got places there, Helena, here. I don't think they have any in Bozeman, which is a bit of a surprise. And then coming up on the far corner here, uh, straight ahead is the Northern Hotel. Uh, recently redone. Historic. You wouldn't think it would be historic with that facade, but I think it's a pretty old hotel. Um, fairly, very nice. Uh, coming up on the, sorry, the Double Tree Hotel by Hilton. Um, they have a lot of meeting spaces in there and obviously a lot of hotel rooms. And they are on this side, there is um, the these Walkers, which is kind of a, a cocktail bar. Pretty popular. <clears throat> and then. Oops, excuse me, further down, <clears throat> you start to get into a little more industrial areas. Industrial areas. And then to the right is south towards the highway. And one of the main access points from the highway is this um, is it 26th, something like that. Can't read it because it's. Uh, in the wrong direction. Twenty seventh, sorry. And here is the Wells Fargo building. Obviously, Wells Fargo is a big bank in national and in international circles. But the real treasure here is um, the Burger Dive. Now, 
got to do, oh, look at that, these cool buildings back here too. I love these old, um, older buildings, old brick buildings. Anyway, the burger dive, you would think, you know, burger is kind of a burger in a lot of ways, but it's hard to make an exceptional burger, but they sure do. And they've won a lot of awards uh, for it. And you would, I, I'm always a little skeptical when people talk about how great their burgers are. They, they're doing the real deal. The Burger Dive. <clears throat> Check it out. I think Anthony Bourdain. Yeah. I think Anthony Bourdain uh, ate there in one of his shows. Also over here. We're coming up on some of the government buildings here. see the rim rock up ahead and up there is the Billings Airport of course this is the Yellowstone County Courthouse Yellowstone County is the county in which Billings uh, I guess is probably the county seat I forget what that old building over there is coming up on uh, I'm gonna have to drop out the audio here Sorry about that, because uh, of the music at 27 minutes there. We're this First Congregational United Church of Christ. Uh, but we're going to head down here to the Alberta Fair Theater, which I think I covered last time, but they've been renovating it. A big renovation project. Um, and uh, I'm going to check that out. Um, also a couple restaurants and area down here. I'm trying to talk over that music so that uh, I don't get a YouTube copyright ding. Um, well, coming back to North Broadway. And I think this is the Alberta Bear Theater coming up here. Great cultural center next to the U.S. Bank building. Um, where they have a lot of concerts and plays and orchestras and um, live shows. It's fantastic. Uh, I haven't actually been to a show there, but they um, have a lot of great people come in. A lot of recognizable names. <clears throat> it's a cool building, too which I'm going to take a picture for a thumbnail. All right. Um, and I think I want to loop back there. Because that's Rock Creek Coffee down there. We've been there. So across the way, you can see kind of what they're doing here. Uh, very much more modern look than it used to be. It used to be, I think, just kind of a plain stucco wall. I'll have to go back and look at the video to see. But they've made a lot of progress. That's great to see.
is the Miller Building where the City of Billings Planning and Community Affairs offices are. And up here, Bar Homes or Bargins, Books, Musics, and Gifts. I haven't been in there. Um, well, it's kind of interesting. Coming up on 3rd and 29th. We're going to duck left here real quick. You can see in the winter, it gets pretty cold and they have some of these walkways, overpasses, uh, between <clears throat> what I think are parking garages. see they have a I think I said that right they have a whole alley full of murals and artwork and I feel like Billings is ripe for that they've got a lot of great uh, alleys with lots of big surface areas uh, I've seen a couple starts but nothing too full complete I think this brown building over here are lofts for residential areas, um, which is pretty cool to have some <clears throat> downtown living, downtown residential capacity. In fact, I think we're gonna duck down one of these alleys to see what they have on offer, just for a fun little detour. Got an old Pepsi sign. Seen better days. Interesting they have these porta potties out here. That's a nice mural. We'll go this way.
be honest with you, I'm a little surprised at how few people are out and about downtown right now. I assume it's a lot because people are working from home now. Uh, yet, it's quiet. Uh, it's summer though, the weather's nice. Definitely saw a lot of people up exercising on the Rimrock Trail today, the Chief Black Otter Trail, I think, is the official name. Fitbit just told me I have 10,000 steps already, and it's approximately back to the Lincoln, Lincoln Center. Um, looks like it used to be an old high school or something. Pretty big brick building. Yeah, Lincoln High School is what it used to be, but no longer. Now it's administrative stuff. Guess the city outgrew it. We are walking along um, 4th Avenue again coming back to 29th Street and the Dude Rancher Inn. Um, I've never actually stayed it there, uh, stayed there, but we have friends who have. They said it was, it was perfectly nice. Uh, it's got that sort of uh, Dude Ranch motif, I guess. I want to thank you guys for wandering around downtown Billings with us today. Uh, there's a lot more to it. I didn't even cover the east side of uh, 27th. Uh, I've done that in the winter walk, and I wanted to try and explore a little bit new new area as well as getting the heart of downtown for those of you who may be on a transnational, transcontinental road trip uh, and looking to see what's billing, what Billings has to offer. It is a great little city. Um, well, not little for Montana, but little in general compared to a lot of other cities. Um, a lot of great food options, a lot of great drinking options, cultural options, hotels, and that sort of thing. Uh, if you're wondering about parking, uh, because you see these parking meters, it's uh, they use the pay by phone app. Uh, super easy to do. It took me about, uh, well, it would have been quicker, but I entered the wrong credit card number. Um, it took about five minutes to sign up and then you're ready to go. Uh, thanks for joining us. Leave us a comment. Leave us a thumbs up if you have you're into it um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and uh, click that bell to get notified when we do more videos we're trying to do two a week right now and uh, I was up to three but with travel restrictions it's harder to um, find opportunities uh, looks like it's 79 degrees Fahrenheit 27 degrees Celsius about 1030 a.m. mid-August Thanks guys for stopping by. We'll see you again soon. Until then, happy walking.